On November 8, 2022, the residents of the city of Worcester voted to adopt the Worcester Community Preservation Act. My name is Tom Matthews, and on this episode of The Buzz, I'll be talking to the city manager to find out exactly what the Community Preservation Act is and how it benefits the city. All right, today, Mr. Manager, we are talking about the Community Preservation Act, AKA CPA. What is the CPA? It was an act that was voted by the residents of the city. And what that does, it establishes a fund. And that fund is for the purposes of preserving, acquiring, maintaining some of the open spaces, historical buildings, homes here in the city, community housing, and a bunch of other different projects that we can be able to do through this fund. All right, so how did the CPA come about? So it was voted by the residents of the city back in November of 2022, and people made a decision. People went to vote and made a decision that this is something that was important to our community and our residents for the preservation and supporting these areas in the city. Okay, so Mr. Manager, how is the CPA funded? It's funded through a surcharge. It's a 1.5% surcharge into your property tax. It's funded by a state match as well. And so these funds provide an opportunity for us to preserve and also acquire whether well, it's open space, housing, historical properties. All right, so how do folks pay the CPA bill? It's starting July 25. They'll be able to pay it uh, directly with their tax bills. As they receive the tax bills, it'll be included right in there. Uh, folks who have mortgages, the mortgage companies will be able to pay it through directly through that. But historically in the last the last year, what we did is uh, we split the bills and we sent a direct bill to folks. Uh, so folks will be able to pay that way. But starting July 2025, people will be able to start to pay directly through the tax bills on one particular invoice. All right, so what do the funds go toward and are there any restrictions? Yeah, there are some restrictions. Uh, right now, the fund is restricted in four different categories. 10% goes to outdoor, recreation, and open space. 10% is for historic preservation, conservation. 10% is for community housing. And then 5% is for optional administrative fund. And so this is the way it's broken down to uh, ensure that there's equity in the way we disperse these dollars to different types of programs. And so how does the city go about deciding how it's going to fund and what it will fund through the CPA? So the committee, the committee is actually going to be hosting workshops, community groups, listening sessions to get people's feedback and understand what are some of the priorities and areas that we should start to identify to be able to put some projects into work. All right, so you mentioned the CPA committee. What is the role of that committee and who is it made up of? So the committee right now is made up of nine members, four at large, one from many different statutory boards, commissions, like the CONCON Commission, Historical Commission, the Planning Board, Parks and Recreation, was the Housing Authority. All these members, their role is to prepare community preservation guidelines, application process, uh, recommend CPA budget and analysis and projects to the council as well, so that the council can be aware and also be able to support any of the projects and decisions that have been made through the application process. All right, Mr. Manager, is there anything else folks should know about the CPA? Oh, I think one of the things that's important is to stay involved, stay engaged, attend these working groups, attend these community sessions to share your thoughts and ideas on what projects we can do. There's a bunch of different projects that could be had in a city like our size. An example is this footbridge that we're here in this, at Institute Park. It gives you an example of the types of projects that we can do in the city to enhance the richness of our open spaces, historical buildings, etc. We just encourage folks to, if they want any other information, just go online to WorcesterMA.gov webpage and they can get as much information as they can there. But get engaged, get connected in terms of the working sessions that are going to happen soon. Perfect. Thanks for taking us through the CPA, Mr. Manager, and thank you for tuning in. As always, make sure to give us a follow on social media. Head on over to WorcesterMA.gov to find out everything else that's happening in the city.